And I did plenty of stories during the Las Vegas massacre when I was writing for the Baltimore Post Examiner uh, that praised the officers uh, on the Las Vegas Metro Police Department, not the ones who were cowards, uh, but the ones who went out and, and saved lives that night. I'm the only investigative journalist, ladies and gentlemen, for years that has been breaking inside stories of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department because my police source is giving the information and I get it out so the public knows about it. I want you to listen to this podcast, excuse me, this little video clip, and I'll explain here in a second. Um, what it is. Uh, as our officers get up onto the, uh, the stairwell, uh, there's an L-shaped metal bracket that was used by the suspect to keep the officers from being able to open the, the fire escape door, which is where they would have entered in. So um, as they get that door breached, the shooting stops. Okay, let's to play that one more time. Uh, as our officers get up onto the, uh, the stairwell, uh, there's an L-shaped metal bracket that was used by the suspect to keep the officers from being able to open the, the fire escape door, which is where they would have entered in. So um, as they get that door breached, the shooting stops. What you just saw, ladies and gentlemen, um, was a lie, okay? What Kevin McMahill said at the time, he was under sheriff, and um, you see on the screen here, I'll put it up over here, is uh, in October 3rd of 2019, I published a story, of the Baltimore Post Examiner published a story that I wrote, and it was titled, Las Vegas Metro Police Official Failed to Tell the Truth in Fox News Documentary on the Massacre. And that was Kevin McMahill, the excerpt that you just saw, uh, being interviewed for the Fox uh, documentary, and I believe it was called The Las Vegas Massacre, an investigative look into the deadliest mass shooting in American history. Now, uh, what you also see on the screen there, ladies and gentlemen, I'll leave it up there, is, let me get off there for a second, okay? Kevin McMahill uh, went on national television in that documentary and lied. Now, I heard he, he lied, uh, this is what I was told, to make the department look good that uh, as soon as they got up into the stairwell, they popped the bracket off the door and the shooting stopped. Ladies and gentlemen, it was an all-out lie. The shooting stopped um, way before that. And what you have on the screen over here, and of course, this buffoon, McMahill, obviously didn't even read his department's, uh, and was called the LVMPD Criminal Investigative Report of the 1 October Mass Casualty Shooting. And ladies and gentlemen, you can see the date. That was made available to the public on August 3rd, 2018, well over a year before McMahill uh, appeared on that documentary and Fox published, uh, aired that documentary on, on television. And um, on the page on the right there, you can see it, it says 22, this is from page 37 of their report, 2257 hours. That's 10.57 hours. Sergeant Bitsko and SWAT Officer Hancock manually breached the door barricaded with the L bracket. Okay? But that's in that report that came out a year before you saw Kevin McMahill in that documentary. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody knows, okay, that the gunfire stopped, Paddock's gunfire stopped between 10.15 and 10.16 p.m., on October 1st, 2017, okay? So when Kevin McMahill said on that documentary that when they popped the bracket on the door, the shooting had stopped, that was a 100% a lie. Now, to me, that's a lie. People say he's just a buffoon, he, he's a fool, he didn't know what he was talking about. It makes no difference, ladies and gentlemen. He was the number two man on the LVMPD under Sheriff Lombardo, when he was interviewed for that documentary, and they put out false information to the public. And Fox News is also to blame for this, okay? They did the documentary. They obviously didn't vet. They didn't, they didn't know anything about what they were doing because they would have said, wait a minute, you said, here's the report that came out. If they, Maybe they didn't look at the report. I don't know what they did, but it was a disgrace. It was so bad, ladies and gentlemen, that, and I did 160, over 160 stories for the Baltimore Post Examiner on the Las Vegas massacre more than any other journalist in the, in the country. 
And um, so I know a lot about, you know, what went on. And I got so many emails from, from victims, uh, the families, uh, the survivors, when that thing aired on Fox News, they're saying, that was a lie, Doug. How can he get on the lie? The shooting stopped well before that. I said, I know. And I reached out to Fox News because I was on Tucker Carlson uh, a couple of years ago um, when the right answer to the incident happened. And, uh, and I reached out to Fox and I told them, listen, you, 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 something's wrong with that documentary. That's, that's not correct what he said. He's, he's not telling the truth in there. And, of course, I, I never heard anything back. So, But you know what? I guess uh, once a liar, uh, always a liar. And then somebody said, well, maybe he wasn't a liar. Maybe he's just an idiot. Well, okay, that's just as bad because he was the number two man running the police department, and he's still now running the police department himself because he's now the sheriff of Clark County commanding the Las Vegas Metropolitan uh, Police Department.